Hey guys, David here. Welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about my thoughts and hypotheses on alchemy stone crafting. We all know that alchemy stones are the bane of all existence when it comes to uh, RNG and a silver sink in BDO, but I have recently been making a lot of them and I actually do make them for silver. And yesterday's video, I shared uh, basically my attempts on sharp yellow stones of destruction protection and life and I was having some great success with them and I obviously made a video and shared with you guys my experience on that anyways last night on discord I was talking to Lionborn about my thoughts on alchemy stones because I've been recording the data on fails and successes on each tier and each grade color and it it crossed my mind I mean it's crossed my mind before but it hasn't crossed my mind I, like I didn't think about it just until now when people were bringing it up and they were asking me questions about how easy it was to enhance stones. So I was thinking to myself, what if alchemy stones have like a max tier or a max color grade they'll go to before you have to sink in an X amount of silver before it goes to the next upgrade. And so I do have a data sheet on all my fails and stuff like that, as I mentioned. And it seems like on average, I'm failing 30 to 40 times um, on higher tier grade colors and then on lower tiers it's easier to enhance although apparently alchemy stones have the same enhance rate all the way through now uh, lionborn was you know telling me that maybe it has something to do with the plus three clothes that you're using or maybe if you are a higher level in alchemy now i know it requires a certain level of alchemy to actually enhance these stones and it may or may not be a possibility that your alchemy level influences and impacts the chance at upgrading a stone. So my main hypothesis is that alchemy stones have a max grade and a max color that they will go to before you hit a plateau where you will eventually need to sink in billions to be able to get it to the next level. Of course, billions is a little bit of an exaggeration. I think you will hit a plateau and you will have to invest a large significant amount of silver to go to the next level or color. I know a couple of my friends that have spent well over a billion and have not actually increased their stone, unfortunately. So there is something that kind of backs that up because I have been having the best luck with stones. Now, my way of doing stones is a little bit more different than the way you guys may or may not do your stones. I normally craft up a bunch of stones and then I will enhance all of them till they reach the next color I want and then I'll just keep cycling through each color. Once you reach a certain color grade, it has a higher chance of increasing. I've noticed that when I'm enhancing a color that is not yellow, let's say white for example, it seems to always go to the next tier or grade you could say, but not the next color. And this has happened a lot, so I don't know if this is like something that's encoded into the game or not. This is again all my speculation and this is just what I have thought about when I have been doing my alchemy stones, but it seems that for every single alchemy stone that I've made, it seems that it will always go to the next grade and tier before it goes to the next color. This is why when you are enhancing stones, if you have a sturdy white, I would just trash it because the amount of materials you're going to use to get it to a yellow is going to be insane because you're going to need to downgrade it over and over and over again because unfortunately there is a higher chance for the sturdy white to go to sharp white. Um, again, this is just all from my findings. I don't know if this is true or not, but again, I wouldn't say that my data pool is large. It is a decent size, but I will continue to collect samples and hopefully be able to come out with a public spreadsheet that uh, can show the average. I don't know if you guys have ever played MMOs where there are certain theories going around that certain items have a max level that it will enhance in. I used to play a game called Vindictus a little while back and I used to play that for seven years, a good seven years, and I've sp I spent a lot of money on that game. It was probably one of my favorite games in terms of combat. Anyways, there was a theory going around that your weapon or your armor had a max level that it was gonna go to before it blew up. Now again, it was just a theory, but it seemed to fit a lot of times. For some people, they were taking a plus one weapon, pulling it all the way to plus 15, no fails, and making a lot of silver, or just making tons of gains. Whereas somebody could do the exact same thing, and they could just fail on plus two right away 20 times in a row, and then have a hard time pushing past even plus five. Again, it could just come down to RNG being RNG, 
But if you guys have ever tried mass enhancing in a game like that, where you take 20 weapons and try enhancing them all at the same time, at least two to three of those weapons will get to the desired enhance level that you want. Same thing goes with alchemy stones. It seems when I mass enhance alchemy stones and I pick and choose the correct color that I want or that I eventually get, it seems that that stone will eventually, whether it takes a thousand materials or 10,000 materials, it will eventually become a sharp. A lot of people that I know, they tend to just enhance their only one they have and it just fails over and over and over again. I think if you mass enhance, you cut down on the probability that it's going to fail. Of course it's going to fail, but I think there is a more there's a bigger chance that you're going to succeed than there is for you not to make one. There is obviously a very small chance that you will not make one and you could just blow through all your materials and be left with nothing. But in my experience making stones, it seems mass enhancing is the way to go. Again, it seems that certain stones will go to a certain color or a certain grade before they do not go any higher. And some stones will just one tap from each color to each grade. And that's how you make silver. What I would suggest for you guys is that if you are mass enhancing and a stone doesn't go past a certain color or a certain grade, I would just trash it because you're going to be, again, blowing more materials than you want to. And if you find a stone that is low color, sorry, high color, low tier, you want to stick with that and burn it through all the way till it gets a sharp. A key thing to remember is that you want high color, low grade. If it's a yellow and perfect, you have a better chance at succeeding at getting a polished yellow and a sturdy yellow and a sharp yellow than it is if you are starting at a green polished and having to go to green sturdy and then blue sturdy or blue polished and then going to yellow polished. And you see how many materials you're gonna be burning in between that? If you can get high color first at a low tier grade, then you're gonna be basically set to get a sharp. My second hypothesis is that alchemy level does matter when it comes to alchemy enhancing. This one isn't as concrete. I was making sharp stones below master. I don't have enough data on that right now for level of alchemy versus how many stones you make, but I have been making stones since a low artisan and I've been succeeding on sharps. Now, again, I haven't been succeeding on resplendents. I've failed all my resplendent attempts, which is well into the 20 to 30 plus attempts. So if this hypothesis has any merit, that would mean I would need to be around the guru alchemy level to be able to have a decent chance at the resplendent stone. Also, something to note, guys, is that the character you're enhancing the stone on may or may not play a part in enhancing the stone and how high it goes. Uh, I have always been enhancing on my Dark Knight when it comes to uh, alchemy stone crafting, and I've been having the best luck on her. When I tried enhancing on another character, I was not having the best luck again. My alts don't have a high alchemy level. That could be the issue, but I'm not I'm not exactly sure. Again, I don't have enough data on this. If you guys think that that is the case, let me know in the comment section down below. It could possibly be a mix of both. It could be certain characters have a higher chance at alchemy upgrades, and it could also be that your alchemy level does play a big part. I'm not sure how big of a part it plays though. It could be a very, very small percentage because again, alchemy stones are only a 3% chance on destruction and protection as life stones are a 6% chance. If the hypothesis was true and alchemy level did play a part, I think the percentage gain would only maybe be like one to 2%, which I mean, when it comes to alchemy stones, that's a pretty big margin. But again, this is just speculation. Let's move on to hypothesis number three. I think I was actually saying hypothesis the wrong way the entire video. I, I, I just realized that I was thinking in my head, I'm like, is it a hypothesis or is it a hypothesis? I don't know. What, whatever it is, I'm going to, if, if I said it wrong, I'm going to say it's, it's because I'm Canadian. Anyways, um, I'm going to go with hypothesis. My third hypothesis is that you need to spend a certain amount of silver to get the next gain. This one is last on the list because I don't think it's possible, but then again, it's BDO and we don't know. Uh, we thought that DR accessories didn't have 
accuracy, but then lo and behold, they give accuracy. Anyways, um, this is what I think is that there is a minimum cap that you need to spend to eventually get the next tier. It seems this could also tie into you need to fail a certain amount of times before you eventually get it, which means that there may or may not be fail stacks when it comes to alchemy stones that are just purely hidden. The reason why I say this ties into fail stacks and you have to fail a certain amount of times is that failing a certain amount of times leads to more silver being spent. Like I mentioned before, alchemy stones are a big silver sink, so it would kind of make sense that you would have to spend a certain amount of silver before you could get the next color. But then again, I've seen some friends that have spent well over a billion and they have not gotten an upgrade, so that kind of counter acts what I said earlier. Again, this is why I said it was last on the list. I'm pretty sure this is not it, but I could definitely see them putting fail stacks in the game for alchemy stones. You have to fail the stone enough times and then eventually you will get the upgrade, whether it is the color upgrade you want or it is the next tier upgrade you want, you're going to get an upgrade. I think the upgrade is RNG purely, so I don't think there's any way to actually control that. Although according to my data, if you fail enough on a tier upgrade, you will eventually get the color upgrade. Again, I am entirely not sure about this, not 100% sure. Take this with a grain of salt. I just want to put this out there, maybe get your brains, your gears working, and I would love to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. As always, take it easy, guys, and I will see you all very soon. Peace out.